Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the most expensive Bibles on eBay. Okay, so I've mentioned in a couple of videos on my channel that I've often found good deals, or a handful of times I've found good deals on Bibles on eBay. But you got to be careful because a lot of people will do some price gouging on eBay and just throw ridiculous prices out there, or they won't have great photos, and so you need to be careful when you're buying Bibles on the used market. But it's also a cool way to, to get good Bibles, out-of-print Bibles, old Bibles, vintage Bibles for a good deal if you if you know what to look for. And so every now and then people send me a message and they'll send me an eBay link and be like, what do you think about this one? And I'm like, well, I don't know. Anyway, I thought it'd be fun to, to check out eBay and see if there's anything cool. And you know what? There was a bunch of really crazy, ridiculously high-priced stuff on eBay. So I thought, I'm going to make a video of this. These are the most expensive Bibles on eBay. So I've got my screen pulled up. I, as you can see here, I've just done a search of Bible on eBay and I've changed it to price plus shipping, the highest price plus shipping. You see the first Bible right here, a hundred and $849,000. So I'm going to click this. It says authentic slash rare Geneva Bible, Cordo, black letter, complete, amazing. Now, if I click this, it'll go full screen for me. Like that's a pretty beautiful Bible right there. Geneva Bible. Then second, second photo is completely blurry. You would think that if you were trying to sell a nearly $1 million Bible on eBay, that you would get some good photos of this thing. You see there the Apocrypha page, the first book of Genesis. There's the first page there. Look at that beautiful, cool, old uh, typesetting. Now, I have no idea whether this is legit. I assume that this person has good feedback over here, that it's a, it's a real old Bible. Let's just see what it says. Winner will need to contact us. Geneva Bible, 1579. So you can look at a Bible that's almost 500 years old and and I mean, that's cool. I don't know that it's worth $850,000, but I mean, that's pretty wild, right? Here's another one, the next highest. That's, that's the highest Bible on eBay right now. It's $849,000 for a 1579 Geneva Bible. So now you go, you know, what is that? Almost $600,000 less for a 1505 pre-Coverdale, Tyndale English Bible manuscript. Clicking on, this doesn't even have full-on photos of this Bible. The Magna Carta of the English Reformation, item description, an illuminated miniature manuscript on vellum. So it's only 18 pages. That's what that says. So this is why when you're on eBay, you got to like, if you thought you were going to get a whole Bible, this is only 18 pages. You need to make sure it says photographs and additional details available on request. Now, some of this stuff, it's like crazy expensive. You, you need to work with these brokers and make sure you're getting all the information. That's kind of crazy, but that's interesting. I mean, if pre-Coverdale, 1505. Look at this, $275,000 for a complete Gutenberg Bible from 1455. Sorry, it's not a complete Bible. It's $275,000 for the complete book of Haggai. Look at this. First printed book, the Gutenberg Bible. Look at that. So that's Haggai in the Gutenberg Bible? Whoa, that's cool. Now, I'm not going to mortgage my house to buy that, but... That's really cool. The Gutenberg Bible, first printed book in the world, 1455, the book of Haggai. That's, that's, really, that's really cool. That's really cool. Now, I did see one on here earlier when I was just playing around. Look at this. This is a first edition of the 1611 King James Bible. It says folio. I don't know what that means. So if you know what that means, leave a comment. Let me know. Authorized version, rare guilt. So here you have, look at that. Is this really? Oh, cool. I love the title page. That is neat. Wow, look at that. That is awesome. Whoa, that this is cool. Now, to me, for $70,000, now, granted, that's still a ridiculous amount of money, and I don't have that, you know, I, you know, you guys might think that doing a, doing YouTube videos about the Bible makes me a lot of money, but you'd be wrong. Um, $69,000 for a 1611 King James Bible, that is is really cool. Okay, so that's kind of some of the crazy, super expensive. Now I want to show you some things that are interesting in kind of the more approachable range. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to change the search to Allen Bible. 
still set by most expensive. So there you see the first one that pops up. This is put in the, uh, called the Candy Cane. So this is one of the limited editions that Alan did of the uh, KJV. I think it was a 53. Yeah, it's a 53 long primer. So I've done videos on the 53 long primer, but they did a special edition, only 75 of them in this black Highland goat skin. It's got a red liner and it has white. It's called the Candy Cane because it has wh white and red ribbons. They only made 75 of them. Okay, $2,000. That's a little bit high. And this is kind of the, the norm for eBay. A lot of Bibles, particularly Allen's for some reason, when you look them up on eBay, they're like really expensive, more than they would be selling for. In the world of like Bible nerds on Facebook and the people who are really into Allen Bibles, shout out to the Allen Bible Addicts Facebook page. I love y'all. Um, this Bible is probably not worth $2,000 in that group to the people who really know, but it, it's, it's near that. It's definitely probably $1,500 or more. Keep going here is the... Second, 1950, the 400th anniversary. So the 400th anniversary of the King James Bible, they did a limited run in blue Atlantic calfskin. So this was back in 2011, so the 400th anniversary of 1611. Again, 1950 seems a little bit high on this one to me, but it's a very rare Bible. I think, I don't know if they made 100 of these or only 75 of these. These were bound by chance. Sorry, I'm scrolling through here. Some cool Allens on here, but a lot of times they're overpriced. So here you have a 63 Sovereign in brown Highland goat skin for 1500 bucks. I mean, they just had black Highlands goat skin 50, 63 Sovereigns on their website, brand new, for less than 300 bucks, or right at that. Oh, here's a cool one, Allen Bible. This is okay, this one. It only has three hours left. It's one of the Plum limited editions from Allen. That was they only made 25 of them, and this one is currently has two bids. And fifteen hundred dollars. So by the time I post this video, you will not you will not be able to bid on this any longer. But I'll let you know because of the magic of the internet, I can edit this and I can tell you right now what this Bible sold for when the auction ended. This was really cool. They only made twenty five of these, and it's a really beautiful, unique plum color. So that's pretty cool. Keep scrolling down here. Here you go, a purple fifty three for seven hundred and seventy five dollars. I would tell anyone don't buy that because. A purple 53 is going to come up more. They're going to do another run of these next year, and that Bible is going to be less than $300. Some, that's what, like this right here, the, the 62 long primer in petrol blue, $675. That Bible right now, I just checked, it's currently on their website for like $275. So why would you buy it on eBay? It's just people throw stuff on eBay hoping to get money. I really, I, that bothers me. But So there's a lot of that. You just have to know what you're looking for. Let's do like Skylar, for example. I see less um, less with Skylar on this sort of thing. So there you go, Skylar Quintel ESV Bible, four hundred dollars. That's the most expensive Sky. Oh, it's one of the ones. Look at this. It's one of the ones that had the the two different types of goatskin on it. So it was British tan and blue, and they don't make that anymore. So it's it's out of print. But I don't know that I'd pay four hundred dollars for that Bible. I mean, you can still get a brand new. Skylar ESV Quintel from Skylar for about $200. So I don't know if it's worth an extra $200 just to have that Bible. Does that make sense? Here's a cool one. This is one of the original Skylar Bibles. Well, not the first one. Oh, well, yeah, Holy Bible with the... I don't know if they had the, the Jerusalem cross on the first editions. So that's 300 bucks for a Bible that is long out of print, and it's like the first one of the earliest Skylar Bibles. That's kind of cool. That might be worth that. I mean, maybe not quite that much. So this is what it's all about. You've got all of these different Bibles on eBay. You just got to kind of search around and find what's out there. I have a few different searches set. There's a $15,000 Cambridge first edition KJV 1629 original. That's really cool. Like Cambridge, a Bible company that's been a publisher that's been around for so long, they're going to have some really cool old vintage stuff in there. But for the most part, here's the deal. When you're buying a Bible on eBay, just make sure that you check out all the photos, you read the entire description. If something doesn't seem to add up, shoot a message to the seller. And if there's somebody legit, they're gonna send you a message back and answer all your questions and make sure that you're good to go. That, I've, like I said, I've had a couple of, of, of bummer deals where I got something and I was like, oh man, this is not exactly what they said it was or the pictures weren't great and I wished I hadn't have purchased it for the price that I paid for it, that sort of thing. But definitely eBay can be a good place. I actually, I'm a former eBay employee. I, I, I technically worked for PayPal when they were the same company. And I used to do fraud prevention at PayPal. So when somebody got scammed on the internet or with a transaction, they would call and talk to the fraud department. That's what I did. I did that before, but like 10 years ago, before I moved back to Nashville to marry Becca. So I've, I've got a little bit of experience with that. And there's definitely some safety that eBay and PayPal will cover you if something goes wrong. But you definitely want to ask good questions and make sure. So that's 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 the most expensive Bibles on eBay. There's some ridiculous stuff out there. There's some cool stuff out there. I probably buy a Bible on eBay 
once or twice every quarter because I find something cool on there and I go ahead and, and pick it up. And usually it's been a really good experience. I've gotten some very interesting, cool stuff on eBay and some of like the Skylar Allen stuff, but a lot of just like old vintage stuff that people sell for four or five bucks. I'm going to show you some in some upcoming videos, some things that I got, but it's been a lot of fun. So anyway, that's the most expensive Bibles on eBay. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you thought of anything while, while we were uh, going through all this, definitely leave me a comment and let me know. If you haven't already, click that like button and subscribe to the channel. This was fun. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.